Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is an introduction to my newest project pan. It will be 10 by spring. So I want to use up 10 products by March 20th, which is the first day of spring in the US. And I took a little bit of a break from project panning from Halloween until the end of 2018. I just wanted a couple months to, I don't know, regroup and play with some new products that I had coming in. I bought a lot of new makeup during all the Black Friday sales and everything. So I wanted to take a little bit of a break to play with new products and just mentally regroup and get myself excited for project pans again. So I have 10 products here. You'll find that there's a theme. I have a lot of primers and a lot of lip products. Let's start with primers, shall we? The first product is from Becca. It's the first light priming filter. It's the filter that's kind of got like the purple bottle. The liquid is purple. It's supposed to be kind of like a color correcting primer that adds a little bit of brightness to your skin with that purple pigment. I don't really notice that the purple does anything on my skin. It doesn't really show up once I've rubbed it in. I have just about a third of product left in this bottle and I use two pumps every time I use it just because I feel like one pump isn't enough for my skin. If you're the type of person who only puts primers like these on certain parts of your face, you don't put it all over, you might be able to get away with one pump, but for me, I need two. Uh, I think this is okay. I usually put it on top of my moisturizer. Sometimes I'll mix it in with my moisturizer if I'm running a little bit late and I want to combine that step. I think it's a nice primer. I'm trying to use it regularly so I can get a better idea of whether or not I think it actually does anything, but I'm not sure. I'm still very skeptical about primers in general, so I'd like to use this up before it expires and also maybe just get a better idea of whether or not I like this and think it's worth it. The next primer I have is a lip primer. This is from Ulta. It is an exact dupe of the MAC lip primer. This is a good product. I think it does well at making my lip products last better. It also makes my lips look smoother before I put on a more drying liquid lipstick. And I do think it's a good product. However, I just don't ever think to use it. It's just one of those things that I forget to grab for before I put on a lip product. I have finished up the MAC lip liner. I finished that in a project pan a long time ago, and I'd just like to do the same thing for this project pan. And I feel like if I if I remember to use it more regularly, I'm sure I can have it done by the end of the project. I just want to finish it before it expires. The last primer I have is from Urban Decay. It's the Ultimate Ozone Multi-Purpose Primer Pencil. This is an eyeshadow primer. It's just a clear stick. I get about five uses out of this before I have to sharpen it again. And because I only have this much left, I think I will definitely be able to have this finished by the end of the project. I think this is something that is very useful for keeping my eyeshadow on my lids for longer. I think it's also really nice in the summertime when my lids are more sweaty, more oily. I just think it does better with that. I also hear this is great for cream shadows. It almost makes the cream shadows you have on your lids waterproof, at least that's what I've heard. So I'd like to play around with it more to see what it can really do, but I do like this pencil a lot. This is something that I bought based on Mariah Leonard's recommendation, and I do think it's a good product and probably something I'd repurchase again. Now for some lip products. I have a lip pencil here from NYX. It's in the shade Sugar Glass. It's a really pretty nudish pink, really great for my skin tone. I'm wearing it in conjunction with a lip stick today. I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, and I'm wearing this as the lip liner. It's a beautiful color. It's just during the day, I always forget to wear lip products. I usually just wear lip balms and chapsticks, and I want to go through some of my lip products, so this and the other lip products I have, I'd like to have finished by the end of the project. I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish this whole pencil. I don't know, because I get quite a few uses out of it before I have to sharpen it again. So we'll see how much progress I make this month, and then depending on how well I do, um, I'll adjust my goal for the end of the project pan, but I think, I don't know, if I really try, I feel like I could have this done. The other lip product is a lip oil from Ulta Beauty. It's the Juice Infused Lip Oil. This is in the shade or fragrance or scent, um, cranberry and pomegranate. And I like this. I think this is nice. It's a little bit more of, um, like a thicker lip oil. It's not greasy like a like like what I think an oil would be like on my lips. If I continuously use this, kind of like I would use it as a lip balm or a chapstick, if I use it continuously, I really do think I can have this done by the end of the project. So as you can see, lip products and primers take up pretty much half of everything in this project. Let's move on to the other products. I have the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is 16 hour wear, it's two ounces, and I would say I'm about a fourth of the way done on this. I think I'm going to have no problem going through this uh, before the end of the project. I use setting spray pretty liberally. I use like eight sprays of this in the morning when I put it on my skin. I just really like setting sprays. 
I think that this, in comparison to the Urban Decay All Nighter or the Scandinavia Bridal Sprays, my two favorite holy grail setting sprays that really do a good job at making my makeup last longer and taking down the powder look on my skin. In comparison to those, this one I don't think has the same lasting power. It still does really nicely to get the powdery look down. I do think it does something to make my makeup last longer, but I think for this it has a little bit more of like a dewier finish. It doesn't make me look greasy. It just definitely doesn't, it doesn't mattify me by any means. It just, I don't know, adds a little bit of like a due to my skin, which is very useful in the winter time when my skin is drier. So this is the time to use this product. I don't think I'll have any trouble finishing this by the end of the project. I have a second Milani product. It's the Supreme Cold Kajal Eyeliner in the shade Black is Black. It's in cold packaging and it is just a regular pencil liner. I like using this a lot. I'm wearing it today in my inner lash line on the up, on the upper side and I think that this is one of the better drugstore eyeliners out there. That's not going to transfer as easily to your lower lash line. I think it's good. I don't think it's like the best. I'm still kind of on the hunt for like my favorite holy grail eyeliner that will not transfer to the lower lash line, that won't smudge or get gross. This one, once you apply it, it will set and it won't move. It doesn't get crumbly throughout the day. It's got nice pigmentation. It's a good product. And I would like to finish the eyeliners I have in my collection before I go out and buy more. There's a couple more that I want to try to see if I can really find my favorite one. So while I'm in the process of finding my favorite eyeliner, I'm going to use up the ones I have. And this one is the first one to go. I can definitely have this done by the end of the project. I use eyeliner pretty much every day. I have three face products left. This first one I'm going to talk about I think is going to be the hardest one. It's from Kevin Aquan. It's the Sculpting Powder in the shade Light. I think there are three shade options. There's a light, medium, and dark, I believe. And this is a cool toned powder that you use for contouring. I am wearing it a little, little bit today. I don't really know if you can tell or if it's actually doing anything. Um, I used a very light amount because I was worried it would it would look like too much on camera. And I just want to make an effort to use this more. I don't know if contour is for me. I don't know if I can get into the habit of using contour on a regular basis. But I just really want to get some more use out of this. It's a very expensive powder. And while I have it, I should use it or at least try to use it. So I will try to make an effort to use this every day. If I could hit pan by the end of the project, that would be amazing. But this is pretty much brand new. I've only used it a handful of times. So I don't know if I'll be able to, to hit pan on it by the end of the project, but I can at least give it a shot. Let me know what type of brush you recommend I use this with, because I'm not entirely sure. I used this one from Real Techniques, the Expert Face Brush. It's got a little bit of a pinch to it, and it's dense, but it's still fluffy at the same time. I used that today, and I think, to, I think it worked okay. But if you have a favorite contour brush that you use, for products like this, please let me know. I need all of the tips I can get. We'll just have to see. I'll, I'll have a better idea after the first month in my next update if this is something I could hit pan on, but I'd like to just at least make some more progress on it. And the last two products I have are mini face products. The first one is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. I have a very big dent in this, so I don't think it's going to take me a long time to use this up. I do think this is a beautiful color. I think it goes really nicely with my skin. And it's a really pretty everyday highlight. It's very natural looking, but still gives a really beautiful glow. I do understand the hype around this product. However, I don't really feel like this has the best lasting power on my skin. I feel like by the end of the day, this is really non-existent on my face. I don't know if it's because of the setting powder I'm using or something about my face. It's just eating this highlight, so by the end of the day, it's gone. Um, I don't know if that's the same for the full size. I don't see why it wouldn't be. I've never heard anything about the lasting power of these highlighters, so I don't know if it's just me or if this is a common thing with the formula. I think it's a beautiful product, definitely something I can see myself wearing every day. I'd like to finish it, but it's probably not something I would buy the full size of. And the very last product is from Tarte. It is the Mini Blush in Party. This was a Sephora birthday gift, I believe, two years ago. And I had this in a project pan last year. My goal then was to hit pan on it, and I did hit pan on it. And now I have used up a significant portion of it, repressed it, and now this is all that I have left. Even though I have repressed it, it's very thin in the pan, there's not a ton left in there, I still feel like it's going to take me the majority of the project pan to finish this, which is my goal. I would like to have a blush, even if it's a mini blush, in my empties next year. I would like to have used up at least one blush this year, so 
Hopefully I can have this done by the end of the project. It's a beautiful everyday neutral blush. I'm wearing it today. Some people consider this one of their favorite blushes. I can understand why. It's a pretty color. Um, but I have so many neutral everyday blushes in my collection. I don't need to go out of my way to buy the full size of this. But it's definitely nice enough to use every day. And that is everything I have. Like always, in every update, I always ask for tips. If you have any suggestions on how I could use these in different ways or multi-purpose them in some way to get more use out of them, I would really appreciate it. Let me know what your thoughts are below. Let me know if you are doing any project pans currently or if you know of any really great project panners that you maybe don't think I know about. Let me know some information in the comments. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!